Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode On, and I'll be doing a gameplay commentary over some Battlefield 4. In this particular installation, I'm going to be showcasing two different gameplays being faded together, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes information before we get too far into it. So jumping into the first section, as you guys are probably watching, and you're very familiar with this map because it's probably one of the most uploaded maps on my channel, and it's definitely one of the most entertaining for myself to play, of course. But with that in mind, Operation Locker will be the beginning part of it. You guys are going to be seeing a little bit of two teams clashing together, trying to really press forward with that front line. As I'm sure many of you guys are familiar, that Operation Locker is not one of the most tactical or strategic maps that Battlefield 4 has to offer. Unfortunately, that's just not what this map does. Now with that in mind, of course, it's definitely nice to showcase the Levolution events and some of the explosions that can occur in an overwhelming amount of players crashing together trying to figure out what strategic options they have available to them. And it's definitely nice to look at that and just try to dissect the situation, of course. But with that in mind, the second portion of the video is going to be a little bit more tank oriented. I have been playing a lot with the tanks and I find it to be a good way to try to get my aim back. You know, I've been playing so many other FPS shooters and all this other great stuff that's on the market currently, and I've come back to Battlefield to realize that I'm not as good as maybe I once was. Now, by all means, I'm not the best player. I don't claim to be by any account. I'm just good at killing people and running away and doing all that fun stuff that I guess everybody else does from time to time and having their, you know, epic moments that Battlefield has to offer. But with that in mind... Trying to regain my accuracy and my overall ability is something that I'm really trying to press forward with and trying to become a better player overall is always a goal that I think everybody should have, but also for my personal opinion, I'm just trying to get a lot better at the game and trying to understand the fundamentals that Battlefield has created over the years, and I guess that's where I stand. But back to the main subjective topic. Second Assault did release, and I decided to you know jump in and try Caspian Border. It's never really been my favorite map. I know the Battlefield community loved it in Battlefield 3, but I thought it was a pretty crappy map by itself. But, you know, that's my opinion. You win some, you lose some. Everybody has a different opinion. And it just depends on what kind of gameplay you're looking for. I've always been a Rush player, and this map is not really created for Rush, so it makes sense to why I wouldn't like it. But... Of course, I'm going to jump into the tank and try to defend the wall and try to eliminate the opposition from taking our home flag. It seems to be working out pretty well until a beautiful guy with C4 decides to ruin my day, but that's how it is. You know, when you put C4 on two classes and one of the classes can refill it, you know, like it's candy, you know, you win some, you lose some. But anyway, that's kind of about it for the gameplay. I mean, overall, pretty strategic, pretty out there when it comes to the infantry slash vehicle combat and overall the overwhelming amount of oppositional clashing that can occur on these two maps is pretty much overwhelming at times and it can be very interesting to see how a player can break down the situation and overall appease to the audience or try to assist the team in the overall capture of the flag or the objective. Now with that in mind of course guys, I want to talk with you guys about what I've been doing the last couple of days. I'm sure you guys have noticed that some of the videos have been live commentary, some of the videos have been post commentary or maybe they just haven't had commentary at all like yesterday and there's a good reason for that. What's been mainly happening is, I'm sure you guys can tell my from my voice, that I've been a little sick. This is nothing new to a lot of you guys. I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with being ill. Ill does occur to the human race by itself. It's nothing that came out of, you know, left field and we're just completely oblivious to the situation. But with that in mind, I'm definitely recovering from being sick. You know, having that common cold that seems to be spreading around with that, you know, horrific winter season that's just been plaguing the East Coast and a lot of the central states by itself has been a little crazy. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably had school delayed or been sick or whatever the case might be. And it's definitely been hitting us pretty hard this time around. But... I'm definitely recovering, taking tons of medication, all that good stuff that comes along with being sick and laying in bed and, you know, watching TV and movies and all that fun stuff and making you guys videos to the best of my ability has been something that's been, you know, primarily on my mind. And with that in mind, of course, I do appreciate that you guys have been enjoying the videos. If you guys have any suggestions for things that you would like to see or anything like that, I would love to know in the comments. I'd like to get some series started on my channel, but... I've never really been a guy to make series out of the 700 videos that I've made. So if you guys have anything that you'd like to showcase or share, just let me know and I'll see if that's something that's uh, within my capabilities to bring forth to the table. But anyway, guys, this has been today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow and this is NMO and I'm going to be signing out, guys. Peace.